I think there's, um, everybody is very pro 3D printing now. It's very the rage. And I think it's important <laughs> to understand that this is a tool, okay? Um, often, I, I think I started printing, 3D printing 15 years ago at MIT, right? And this is a tool. Right now, a lot of people are like, I'm gonna get a 3D printer, I'm gonna make everything. And then what do they realize? <laughs> Open the box, what's not in the box? Skills, creativity, <laughs> right? And so what do they make? What I call kind of a digital poop, right? It's like another, <laughs> like something that's gonna go on the end of your USB stick or a spoon, which ultimately just took more energy and more material than the spoon that you would have at Ikea. And you can't wash it, right? And you probably shouldn't eat it, eat with it. So like, I, you know, we're in the phase of this tool and I'm all for giving tools to people and letting them understand what, you know, what are the capacities and have people gain new skills. But I think that we are having like a weird obsession with this technology now. I think that's very fair. It's, <laughs> it's mass, there's a lot of hype around it. We can do some of the things that Jess is talking about, um, uh, a kind of a rapid prototyping, a low scale uh, additive manufacturing that is kind of interesting for people who want to test things. And on the other end, we can do big additive manufacturing. Uh, at companies like GE, where they'll actually make a wing or a, uh, a gas turbine. What we can't do is the really interesting stuff in the middle, where most of industry actually takes place. That's where you want to combine different types of ink and materials at complex scales. But there's a woman you guys have to go and see her lab. Her name is Jennifer Lewis. She's up at Harvard. She is printing multiple inks, including vasculature, flesh. It is mm -hmm. far out stuff. So that's the future of 3D printing, those mixtures of materials at different temperatures that do different things. But we're nowhere near that at yeah. the moment. But I would just say, uh, so I bought a 3D printer a couple years ago as book research. And I definitely <laughs> had that experience <laughs> of, what, what, poop. of poop, <laughs> you might say. <laughs> but, uh, but, but I'm going to steal that, by the way, if I may. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, I'll, yeah, credit but, but, uh, I'll tell you what it reminded no, me of. <laughs> It, it really took me, my experience with my 3D printer was almost exactly how I felt with my first dial-up modem in yes. 1991, yeah. which was you had to really, you had to really figure it out, right? You had to like play with it, monkey with it. It was kind of a pain in the butt. It was definitely not consumer friendly, or I would think of it as mom friendly, mm -hmm. right? Um, and yet immediately mm -hmm. this whole vista of what might be possible opens up. I think and, that's uh, and, you know, and even I think when I think back to my experience with my first dial up modem in, I think it was like 1991, maybe 92, uh, what I imagined was possible with that was actually an enormously limited <laughs> vision of what we now have today. Right. right? So, yeah, and yeah, I think, I, I think there's, there's a general tendency to, you know, overhype, overestimate the impact of technologies in the short term and then yeah. underestimate the long term impact. Yeah. So, if the BBS, the data BBSs were the precursors of Facebook. Nobody imagined Facebook at that time. Mm -hmm. right? There was a lot of hype about, yeah. about it, but nobody imagined what this would take. And I think I think that's the stage where. I would, but but I agree with you that 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 it's the what will matter is the are the are the creativity, right, and the design skills and the imagination mm -hmm. to to make use of this tool. Yeah. Um, and I think that's I think that's the promise. I was actually. Um, on Monday in my uh, daughter's engineering class, she's, she's in, uh, 10 years old at her school, and we, were, we had a 3D printer and we were talking about it. And we were just saying, what could you do with this? And their imagination, a lot of them wanted to make pizza, right? <laughs> uh, can I have it in my, ha in my room so I can make pizza and not tell my mom about it? But a lot of them were, were being pretty inventive <laughs> mm -hmm. with what, what, could, what could happen with that. And I think that's the exciting that's, part yeah, around that. Yeah, that is it. exciting.